What's up guys, it's me Pants and I'm here to show you how to you can get your um you can get your phone to look like this and the fact that I can press this and we're playing online. So how did this happen? Well some innovation and a friend named Kingslayer helped me with this actually. But we're gonna start from the beginning and first of all we have to start with my old guide right so first of all we're gonna fix this Boom. okay so first of all we're gonna go through the guide and we're gonna go through first what you should be doing on PC for this to work and first of all we got to get the video up actually okay so this is the old guide it's on the main fun channel I don't know why people still ask me how to play online it's like let's see right here but if you go here what you want to do is first come down here and you'll probably this would be I'll just copy and paste this exact description to my own video but to this video but first of all, you want to install this specific BlueStacks version. And there's no virus, even though this thing says it might be harmful. It's not a virus, it's just specifically BlueStacks 4.2804.400T. And why? Because this is the best BlueStacks version that works with this shit. So don't just download BlueStacks 5 or BlueStacks 10 or whatever new update shit they have. This one works the best with controllers. And I can say this as a person that's actually played online. So take that um, with what you will now second you want to come down here and download parsec and it's not there's nothing really much I should say here you just download it you open it I didn't really have to open I didn't even have to do shit to connect to anyone so if you have to do something then make sure you search up online how you can make parsec one of your computer or common errors or something but I've not seen any errors and no one has told me about that much stuff um, but now something that does lead to parsec they actually have to look into is this next link and it's how to emulate your PC's keyboard as a controller and this is only for if you don't have a controller when you're doing PC or if your friend doesn't have a controller if any of you don't have a controller then you should do this or just do it all the time so you can actually do training mode as well but just um, follow this guide, this is like 5 minutes to finish and you'll be left with this program which I shall open right here. So you should be left with this program and even though I'm not showing, you, I'm teaching you stuff up on the guide, I'm still going to teach you stuff on stuff how to configure this controller. So what you should do first is when you get the app like this, you should make a new profile, right? and use your keyboard i'm hoping you know where your keyboard is and then select vgm uh, xbox x 360 controller one name it whatever you want and then you should come with this um what you want to do first can i do something like this let me show you, let me show you. okay we can have to even this up at once that's good so what you want to do first is I mean, let me look if you can if you guys can see this nope you guys can't see that so let me get a window up to show you there we go that's the window that will open up when you're trying to edit something and let me get the window of my old setup so wait that's one thing oops Okay, maybe I should turn off this one. There we go. And now, um, forget this one on the right. Um, actually, this one. Yeah, forget the one on the right over here. We're gonna keep it like this. So, because this is gonna be a guide. So, this one over here on the right here. So, this is what you're going to. This is how your thing's gonna look, right? And what you wanna do is scroll down. You know what? Maybe I should. Make it way bigger so you guys can see it actually. 
So that's gonna cover my cat for some reason. Whoops. There we go. So what I'm gonna do is go down here and first thing you're gonna first thing you're gonna see is I mean first thing you wanna click anyway is buttons to access, which is around um, here. Buttons to access. You wanna press plus there and you wanna name it right left. You can name it anything, but I like to put it like right to left. What's this um, shows here is that you can bind two buttons to an axis and there's a horizontal axis and then there's a vertical axis which is X and Y. If you know math, you know math. So you come out here, you click the X axis first and what you want to do specifically press the what you want to bind to right. So bind your key for right to that, just right. So when you think of right, think of the button you want to use as right, click it. Think of what you want to use the left, click it. Press it, you press um, buttons to access again. And I think I should show something real quick. Just so that you... Okay, it says capture cursor there. Okay, good. So, what you want to do next is, um, yeah, buttons to access again. And this is for up, down. And what you want to do, bind up, bind down, and click L, Y. Good. Now you bind your buttons, and how you bind your buttons is you bind your, as you can see here on the left, I'm not even going to show you here. I'm going to show you here for one. So you can, over here, you press buttons to button. If I call. So buttons to button here. And you can press like lights. It's for your light punch. And then you bind your light punch to X. So why, what do I use as a light punch? I use U. And then you click here. Um, X this. You click here, you press buttons, you press X. X is your light. Now you come down over here and you can see you bind your light to X, you bind your heavy to Y, you bind your special to A, and you bind your EX to B, and you can close that. And anytime you want to use this as a controller, you press this, and then you can now go into game. So let's go move this. Uh, where my face go? Whoops. Okay, you go into game. Um, you click your thing, and there the, the controller is working. As you can see, I'm controlling two players at once, which is mostly because my controller is binded to player two, while my normal keyboard is binded here already. So um, do that. And see, I'm binded with my controller, which even though I don't have a controller on me right now. Actually, I do, but I'm not plugged in. So, yeah, um, that's how you do it. And let's get out of here. And if you want to do it again without having to go through all these um, these fucking uh, tabs, um, you just click your profile here and you press the play. And that's how your controller will start. And then when you want to stop it, you press the stop. You should know this already. So. I delete all this stuff, messing me up. So, next, um, what's the next thing to do? Okay, now you just need to join the Discord. And when you're doing the Discord, you can go to the general and just start acting for games. I guess I should show the Discord, um, how the Discord looks right now. So. It's going to save Discord, and if you just ping anyone, ping me, and I'll sh and I'll just like I'm just pens, right? Ping me, and I will tell you exactly who will play with you online, because there's a lot of people here. There's like six people here, actually, which is pretty big, considering that no one knows how to do this, no one. So then, what you want to do if you're on a phone and you're looking for someone to host for you? This is how you go for it. So you guys have been waiting for this. I put this at the end intentionally because I know that people want to. People are not going to watch the whole video if I <laughs> only show the phone first and then show the PC second. So what you want to do? All you need on the phone is 
your phone and a controller that can connect this controller cannot um, this controller cannot connect which is why I can't um, show this video right now but it doesn't really matter um, I can still show that the online works without it because you can press the on, you can press the on-screen buttons so it doesn't really matter um, so on Parsec what you want to do is have the person send you a link and on Discord send you a link when they hosted the thing right you send a link to the computer through the Parsec and then what you want to do is you click it or if you have friended them you just come here and press connect and as you can see it's connected and if I turn on the on-screen buttons on BlueStack real quick okay come here resume I, you can see I can press it so yeah um, that's online for you I don't think I have anything else to, to show um, one thing though is that after I upload this video I'm going to upload a video of me playing online with someone that's using a phone um, it's pretty delayed for them but I'm pretty sure that's just connection issues um, from because we're far away from each other but this is really good right now um, this is the only way you can play it one thing you want to know is that I'm going to show you a few parsec settings to make this better because obviously you don't want to be seeing all this shit when you're playing the game. So let's get right to it. So this right here is parsec and uh, the way you have to consider this is uh, pretty weird but we're, we're going to get through it. So if you look at parsec here, um, it normally starts like this. So you can come over here, press settings, you're the host. So you come here, what you want to do. Um, Normally, I would say use client resolution, but if it doesn't work, I suggest going to 1000, 1280 by 124. That's normally the biggest it can get um, wide anyway. So that's what I use on my phone at least. Um, then you want to go to, is that approved apps? Yeah, approved apps. And you want to go to BlueStacks. And I'm pretty sure there's one more thing which I'll get to right now. Actually not. This is it. So the weird thing with my phone is that I'm I'm on my accounts, so I don't count as a guest. So that's why you can. That's why when I connect to my computer, like right now, that's why when I connect to my computer, um, I can see I'm all, I can see all this shit because I'm me. But if a guest connects to your computer, they're only going to be able to see um, blue stacks. So yeah, um, I think that's it for the video. I hope you guys like this. Um, it's way more personal with me, like everything. This is definitely the last video I'm doing online. Um, maybe on training mode I'll do another video. But apart from this, I don't really think there's anything else. So hope you guys um, don't start asking me for another online video. Even though you guys probably haven't been asking me. But you guys have been definitely been flooding my comments with... Um, how do you do online, which I appreciate you for asking. I don't really get that many comments these days. So, thanks for watching the video. Hope you like it, subscribe, and yeah, peace.